And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, certainly a cool start to the day with temperatures right now sitting right around the mid to low 50s. We're at 53 degrees in West Lafayette right now. Winds are calm. Humidity is high still at this point, but we're not dealing with any fog quite yet. But we are seeing that upper level moisture, that low lying stratus cloud cover, very much like what we saw yesterday morning rolling in over the viewing area over the last few hours. So as that sun rises, you'll see some overcast guys. But the good news is the majority of that cloud cover should break up over the next couple of hours, giving us mainly clear skies later on this morning. It's 52 degrees right now in Rensselaer, 54 Kokomo. Same story down in Crawfordsville, 54 degrees. There's your low lying, low lying stratus cloud cover. Now what we're going to be dealing with throughout the day today, cooler than average temperatures, but instead of mainly sunny skies like yesterday afternoon, Isolated rainfall will be a possibility, all thanks to the very same area of low pressure that supplied us with the storms on Sunday afternoon. That area of low pressure is now situated over the far northeastern United States and eastern Canada. And even though it's that far away, it's still affecting our region as it brings that very cool pool of air back over the viewing area. And with the cooler air aloft, that will be interacting with the warmer temperatures here at the surface, generating isolated rainfall later in the day today. So pop up showers and storms not out of the question throughout your afternoon. In fact, this is a trend that we will continue to deal with throughout much of the upcoming weekend, even weekend. Notice the cloud cover rolling back into the region, isolated showers and thunderstorms. Keeping the umbrella handy this week may not be a bad idea at all. Then we begin to dry out during the overnight hours and early tomorrow morning, possibly some light and patchy fog as well. 75 degrees will be your high temperature later on this afternoon, about 10 degrees below average for this time of the year. We'll hit 75 in Logansport as well. 74 Romney, 75 in Fowler stepping out the door later today. Then overnight tonight and tomorrow morning, we drop back down into the mid to upper 50s. 57 in West Lafayette. 50 degrees, however, back down, back up in Remington. 49 even for Rensselaer. 48 degrees overnight, Winnemac. Even 47, 46 for Logansport and Peru overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. So some very chilly temperatures rolling back into the region. But we do have those rain chances sticking around for tomorrow as well. We have a very similar start tomorrow. Some light and scattered cloud cover, possibly that isolated fog. Now by tomorrow afternoon, right around your lunch hour, things looking pretty nice. Before those isolated rain showers begin to pop back up across the region, temperatures trending a little bit warmer tomorrow. 76 degrees, your high temperature in West Lafayette. And you'll notice those temperatures gradually on the rise throughout the remainder of the forecast. 80 degrees, your high on Thursday. Friday, 81. Isolated showers and thunderstorms Friday and Saturday. Even 82 on Saturday. We do see a temperature tick down a little bit. 81 degrees on Sunday. Monday though, mostly sunny skies warming us back up to around 84 degrees. But notice temperatures throughout the next seven days still staying below average for this time of the year. The average high 85 degrees. You know, I know it's, you know, just almost August, but I'm really enjoying these temperatures. I think everyone is. You know, normally for the middle or latter part of July, we deal with temperatures in the upper 80s, low 90s, high humidity, heat indices near 100. We haven't seen 90 degrees officially yet in Lafayette. We've gotten up near that once. We've seen 90 degrees at a few stations uh, or a few uh, weather stations around the uh, viewing area. But aside from that, it's been a very cool uh, summer thus far. And we will at least continue to see those cooler than average temperatures trending for at least the next few weeks here. All right, Cam, thanks very much.